What's up my dudes? Thank you so much for checking out the channel, Bub's Arcade Fighters. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys showing you how to unlock Ed's uh, second costume in Street Fighter 6 for free. For free. So his preferred gifts are the uh, Boxing Almanac and also the trading cards. Uh, the Boxing Almanac actually gets you 40 friendship points. And uh, so the first thing you need to do to get the Boxing Almanac is go to Old Nashal, the Lowlands South area. So you're going to jump on that plane, go to Old Nashal, Lowlands South area, in uh, World Tour mode here. You can also unlock his costume with uh, Fight Coins, but uh, this is the best way, to, or the, the only way to get it for free. So then you're gonna you're gonna go here. You're gonna talk to a marked NPC called Pelma, and good old Pelma is gonna give you a little mission here. So we're gonna talk to Pelma. Then we're gonna go to the Vashal Val Foothills ruins. So we're gonna jump on our rickshaw and head over to the Vashal Foothills Ruins and we're going to do a little mission. And uh, in this mission, you're going to have to put on a piece of clothing that this NPC is going to give you. It's actually called a Sarashi, which is a Japanese uh, piece of clothing. So you're going to talk to, first you're going to talk to Ganda. He's just on your right as soon as you get to this location. And we have to talk to... Sashira over here and he's gonna give us our, our piece of clothing the Sarashi <clears throat> which is actually a traditional piece of Japanese clothing used in uh, kimonos I didn't know that so he gives us our Sarashi we got to equip it equip it on our character Easy peasy like so. It should be at the very bottom there. Yeah, we're going to put on this Schmexy uh, Sarashi. You just have to put it on to... Um, so the Psycho Power character will fight you here to complete the mission. So now that we have that on, we're going to talk to the same NPC again. To fight the psycho power dude. And it's actually a pretty tough fight. Like, I haven't played uh, Street Fighter 6 World Tour in forever, and I was struggling. I had to drink, I had to keep pausing and I had to keep drinking my little energy drinks to uh, restore my health. It was a tough fight. And also, I had to use my little assist character as well. And yeah, if you're not an idiot like me, and you uh, don't forget to equip your super arts, uh, if you finish this enemy with a super art, you get a free trading card as well, which is the other gift item that uh, that uh, Ed prefers. So yeah, it's a tough fight. Just be warned, my dudes. But yeah, once we beat him, we uh, unlock the Boxing Almanac with uh, Balrog on the cover. And that's actually plus 40. So you get 40 points, you fill up uh, Ed's friendship meter really fast. So yeah, we beat our little emo psycho power dude here. And now we have to go back to the Lowlands South area. So where we first started our mission and talked to good old Pelma again. And then we're going to unlock our gift plus 40 gift item. Jump back on that rickshaw. 
and uh, Pelham is just going to be on the right as soon as you get to this area. And you can see he's going to give us our old boxing almanac. And we unlock also a sweet uh, Shadow Lou soldier suit for our little avatar. So that's pretty cute, my dudes. So yeah, you got to do a bit of running around here, but uh, it's not too bad. I, I completed this. I unlocked Ed's second costume in about uh, 20 minutes, half an hour. A big shout out to Real Ghost 49 on Reddit. This is how I found out all, all about this information. So to unlock the trading cards, I believe this is his plus five item for friendship. We have to go, this is a lot easier. You just got to go to the Saval Hall Arena. This is after we've completed that mission for Palma. And you got to run up these stairs here to the big tournament Kumite Arena here. And there's going to be this uh, Shadowloo doll character here, this NPC. And we have to fight her using Kami style. So you have to you have to equip Kami style to your character, and then we're going to unlock the uh, trading cards. And if you defeat her without taking any damage as well, you unlock the cool little uh, Shadow Lou doll helmet as well. So that's a cool little challenge to complete in World Tour mode. <clears throat> Let me know if you guys are liking World Tour, Tour Mode. I actually like it quite a bit. It's actually a ton of fun. I enjoyed it. It had a bit of lore, like a lot of Street Fighter and Final Fight lore in it. And it was a fun little mode. And they've added some new stuff to it as well. With every DLC character, they seem to add uh, some little, um, some different enemies and... Uh, missions as well to the world tour mode which is pretty cool see so yeah, how we have to fight this uh, Shadowloo doll some cami style and once we beat her we unlock the uh, trading card gift item now we have to take these gift items back to the USA to uh, Metro City And we have to give them to Ed. And we get our... Uh, we unlock our second Ed costume. But yeah, I made one of these guides for uh, Rashid as well. Uh, how to unlock Rashid's uh, second costume. And I'm going to be doing them for every character that I play. I, I didn't really play Aki at all. The second DLC character. The poison chick. So uh, I didn't make a guide for her. But I'm planning on making more of these guides in the future if you guys enjoy them. Yeah, so please pump that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the content, my dudes. So here actually I screw up, but we got to go to Beat Square in Metro City. <clears throat> During the night time to find Ed. So if you don't know how to transition to night time, you have to go back to your hideout and select night. And then you have to come back out in the night time. Here we are. So go to Beat Square during night time to find Ed. And if you're wondering out, if you're wondering how to find Ed in the first place, how to get him as a as a uh, sensei, as a t as a master, you have to go to the subway at uh, Urban Park at night time. I believe I'll put it down in the description below. And I'll have all this info summarized down below as well. So now we're going to give our gifts to our favorite Psycho Power Boxer, Ed, here. And you can see we actually get plus 40 from giving this uh, boxing almanac. Yeah, so Balrog actually trained Ed, so that's how he got his boxing style. So yeah, plus 40, 40 up. So you can see it totally fills his uh, friendship meter there on the right. And now we just gotta give him the trading card and boom, we're gonna unlock that costume for free, my dudes. So yeah, why spend money 
on unlocking the costumes when you can get them for free. It doesn't take that long as long as you follow all these steps. You should be able to do it pretty quick. But yeah, I'm really excited. That is out. Uh, he's a really fun character to use. They changed him a lot from uh, Street Fighter V. In Street Fighter V, he actually had some kick moves, but Street Fighter VI now, he's uh, he's totally a boxer, a complete boxer character. Just show you guys all the color schemes here for his costume, his second costume. <coughs> a lot of people were complaining about his hair, so I'm not the biggest fan of his hair. It doesn't ruin the character for me, but... Uh, I definitely like the second costume a lot better. But yeah, thanks so much for checking out the channel, my dudes. I make fighting game, beat em up, and the odd NBA 2K video as well. So if that's your thing, please like and subscribe, my dudes. Take care. Hope you're all doing good. Thanks to everyone who supports the channel. Peace. So stop talking, yeah, so watch me break out of this cage, I fight now.